Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we shall solve few problems of arithmetic progression. Before that, all those who are watching my channel for the first time, please do subscribe and press the bell icon to get the notification of all the videos which we post here. So this is a small effort to help out all the aspirants those who are preparing for GPSTR exams. We handle mathematics and physics classes in our channel. So do subscribe for this channel and share to your friends. In the previous video also we have already solved few sums related to arithmetic progression and today let's see another type of problem. Okay. An AP consists of 50 terms of which third term is 12 and last term is 106. Find the 29th term. So here as we discussed earlier if you write the given half of your sum is like already over. So it means we can understand that it is clear about the question. So an AP consists of 50 terms. So n is equal to 50 and T3 third term is 12. So T3 is 12 and the last term is 106. So am among 50 terms which is the last term T50 is the last term. So T50 is equal to 106. T29 we have to find out find the 29th term. So in order to con uh, calculate T29 we require the formula a is tn is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. So here we know the value of tn it means t29 and this n value is 29. We do not know the value of a and d. In order to calculate the value of a and d we suppose to consider these numbers the terms t50 and t3 as tp and tq. Hence we can find out d value and it follows. So consider Tp is equal to 106. If you take this as Tp is equal to 106, what is the value of P? P will be 50, 50th term. If you consider Tq is equal to 12, what is the value of Q? Q is equal to 3. And we know the formula to calculate the common difference between the two terms, any two terms it could be. Okay, Tp minus Tq is uh, divided by P minus Q is equal to D. So substitute the considered numbers Tp is 106 minus Tq is 12 divided by P minus Q is 50 minus 3. Solve 106 minus 12 which gives 94, 50 minus 3 is 47, 47 ones are 47 twos are 94. Hence, d value is equal to 2. And we know that tn is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. And if you take n is equal to 3, we can find out the value of a here. So, substitute tn is t3, a as it is, n is 3 we have taken. So, 3 minus 1 is 2 into d. So, substitute the value of t3. t3 is 12, a right as it is. 2 2 is a 4 and then solve keep the a on the right hand side bring this min plus 4 to the left hand side so 12 minus 4 it becomes so shift both as it is so 12 is equal to a plus 4 changes as a is equal to 12 minus 4 so a value will be is equal to 8 12 minus 4 is 8 now substitute for the 29th term for third term t3 is equal to a plus 2d so 29th term is 2029 20, is equal to a plus 28d if it is 26th term t26 is equal to a plus 25d okay substitute the values of a and d here a is 8 d is 2 so 28 twos are 56 56 plus 8 gives us 64 therefore 29th term is 64. Hence, we got the solution. Cleared? Ok, 
Okay now, we shall move to another sum from arithmetic progression. The sum of 6 terms which forms an AP is 345. The difference between the first and the last term is 55. Find the terms. So what are given? The sum of 6 terms is 345. So yes, 6 is 345. The difference between the first and the last term is 55. So 6 terms are given. So which is the first term? T1. Which is the last term? T6. So the difference of those two is T6 minus T1 is equal to 55. Find the terms. So AP we have to find out. And how many number of terms are there? There are 6 terms. So N is equal to 6. Hence, in order to calculate this sum, uh, AP the series, we require this formula Sn is equal to N by 2 of 2A plus N minus 1 into D. Before that, we must know the value of all this. Do we know the value of A? We don't know the value. Let's see. We will calculate that. And do we know the value of N? N is 6. And of course, we know the value of N and we know the value of Sn also and D also. So, we can calculate A first. So, to find A, consider any term that is sixth term we take here T6 is equal to A plus 5D and T1 is equal to A. The difference of this two is T6 minus T1 is equal to 55. Substitute the values of T6. T6 is a plus 5D, T1 is just A is equal to 55. Plus A and minus A get cancels. So 5D is equal to 55. D is equal to 55 divided by 5. 5 ones are 5 11 are 55. Therefore, D is equal to 11. Now substitute the value of all this in this equation. SN value is S6. N is 6, 6 by 2 of 2a plus n is 6, 6 minus 1 into d is 11. Just now we have calculated. And 3, 2 1s are 2 3s are 6. And here 6 minus 1 is 5. The remaining terms write as it is and we get this step. Next step is 3 2s are 6, 6 into a is 6a plus 5 into 11 into 3. So 3 into 5 11s are 55. We have directly written here. And the value of S6 also we know of course 345 substitute that also 345 is equal to 6A plus 165. Keep this 60A on the right hand side. Take this 165 to the left hand side becomes minus. So 345 minus 165 which gives us 180 that is 6A is equal to 180. A is equal to 180 divided by 6. And on solving this We will get A value as 30. So, if we take 6 terms in AP, those are T1, T2, T3, T4, T5 and T6. Okay, 6 terms we can take and the value of these 6 terms are A, A plus D, A plus 2D, A plus 3D, A plus 4D and A plus 5D. And substitute these values. We know the value of A. What is A? 30. And D value we have already calculated. That is 11. So A is 30 plus D is 11. Next term. A is 30 plus D is 2 into D. 2 11s are 22. Then uh, it follows like this only. 30 plus 33. 30 plus 44. 30 plus 55. All this term. On solving this, we will get the answer as 30 30 plus 11 41 then follows 52 63 74 and 85 therefore the terms are 30 41 52 63 74 and 85 okay hence we got the answer of the six terms of the required question is 30 41 52 63 and 74 and 85 okay then we will see another sum. For a sequence of natural numbers, find S20. We know the formula only when 
n value is given that is sn is equal to n by 2 of n plus 1 substitute the value of n n is 20 divided by 2 n is 20 plus 1 so 2 ones are 2 tens are 20 plus 1 is 21 and multiply 10 into 21 is 210 so already syllabus for gpstr exam is out and um, um, it is given ap is there in the syllabus even gp is there in the syllabus geometric progression and hp they have removed in the following classes they will solve few sums in gp so don't forget to subscribe the channel those who are watching our video for the first time and thank you for supporting us and uh, if you want more classes from ap please comment in the comment section thank you